other people come down and take care of your business. How about I bring Rob Norwood with me to the next TV taping, and we'll take both of you on. Well, the Bay of Pigs, I guess, so. huh? Cujo wanted to make what do you a say personal. That? Cujo wanted to make it personal. Adrian Lynch wanted to make it personal. DDL's got backup, though. Well, considering that I'm still the ACW Heavyweight Champion, and you're not, that means that I call the shots around here. And since it is the holiday season, and I'm generous, I think maybe I'll accept. What do you think, Cooch? I think I accept also. And you both got really nice freaking heads. Take it from the expert, gentlemen. Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with fashion guru Angelo Stefano and my boy Cujo. <laughs> gentlemen, you got to be looking forward to this tag team with Adrian Lynch. What are you thinking? We're thinking this. Adrian Lynch was screwed out of his rightful ACW world title. And Cujo is always getting screwed out of title matches by Norwood and Big Daddy Loker. It makes me so upset, I could almost button on my shirt right now. Oh, heavens no. But I won't, because that would break all the hearts of the fans. So, we're going into this match with vengeance on our minds. Tell them about it, Cujo. Me and Lynch are sick and tired of all this crap that's been going on. He loses his belt, which should have never happened. There was a bunch of tomfoolery and chicanery that went down that night. And let me tell you this. Every stinking time I get an opportunity, I come within inches of winning that ACW belt, I get screwed. Whether it be Big Daddy Loker or Rob Norwood, it happens every damn time. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Sad but true. You heard it. And he's the smartest man in the world. He's a professor for Christ's sakes. Between the two of the geeks, neither one of them got a Sally Struthers wrestling education. And let me tell you this. Adrian Lynch has got a lot on his mind. He's got a title to win back. So I'm just probably going to have to take care of this whole situation just do it by myself so he doesn't have to soil his hands with them two grubby geeks that have been calling themselves a tag team as of late. Mullet cutter here, mullet cutter there. The problem is neither one of them got much hair, but that doesn't matter. And this goes out to you, Matt Byron. Ho, oh, your nice frickin' head. If I ever hear you say anything about the birthmark on the back of... <laughs> beauty mark, beauty mark. Oh, sorry, brother. Beauty mark on Angelo Stefano's backside, you will definitely be on the wrong end of a mullet cutter geek. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will most certainly drink to that. Of course, I'll drink to most anything. All-Star Championship Wrestling returns to the Watering Hole on Belmont Saturday, March 3rd for a television taping. You'll see almost three hours of actual including full ring warfare for the tag team titles. Hillbilly Hills and Kamikaze yeah. can both put their singles titles on the line. And history will be made in a two-ring 40-man battle royal. Tickets are now at sale at the exclusive company in Green Bay for ACW March 3rd at the Watering Hole. Skateboarding is not a crime, but buying your gear at a place called Mark should be. Surf and Burn on Main is now a hardcore sponsor of ACW Wrestling, specializing in some of the most hardcore pastimes out there. With snowboards, skateboards, streetboards, music, video games, and DVDs, Surf and Burn has been corrupting young minds since 1988. Surf and Burn is the supermarket to the youth at 1277 Main Street, Green Bay. Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with Big Daddy Loker and Pimp Daddy Rob Norwood, the two daddies of ACW. Gentlemen, you've got a match coming up with Adrian Lynch and Cujo. Adrian Lynch, of course, former ACW heavyweight champion. Uh, my thoughts on that is that everybody wants to be a champion. Uh, he wants it back. What do you think about that? Former champion. I know how that feels well. Lynch, remember when you stole the strap from me? You got exactly what you deserved. I don't feel sorry for you at all. Coming up. We got to take care of business, baby. Lynch and Cujo. Cujo messed with your time to shine, baby. Time to take it over. Yeah, just like he said, I had my time ripped away from me just like you did. 
and coming up, we're going to have something to take care of right now in a tag match. But when that's all said and done, we'll be coming back for what we want. That's a heavyweight title. Well, surprise, surprise, everybody wants the belt. We've been hearing about this one for a few weeks now, guys. They call him Time Bomb Tom, and he's the host of Ground Zero, a new interview segment right here on UPN 32. It's Elvis! No, it's not trip. Elvis. Elvis wasn't a skateboarder. He's popular here in Green Bay in the punk scene, and the dude is working the mutton chops. Oh, my God! The king is alive and well! No, the king's on the toilet, Angelo. Rock the hula, baby! What's that? Rock a hula, baby! Viva Las Vegas! Slice and sand! Both of you settled out. It's time off, Tom. The last five years have been a classic cafe, a main street green bag. It's now called Rock and Roll High School. Oh, yeah. It's opening on February 3rd. You also may know me as the manager of the exclusive company here in Green Bag. And we all Some call him the luckiest man in ACW. I call him a skilled kid who's, show, who's an overachiever. His skills shown through early. He's Hillbilly Hill, 260 pounds of a rough, tough kid. Cut his teeth in the dojo, and now he's the ACW heavyweight champion. Whether Adrian Lynch or anyone in ACW can believe it or not, guys. And not only is Hillbilly Hills the luckiest guy in ACW, he's a double cheater burger with cheese because all he did in that match was cheat and win the belt. Is there anything you don't associate with fast food? No, I love fast food. The hell you say? Well, this guy loves the fans. This guy loves the gold. This guy loves being ACW champion. He's been a, he's been just on cloud nine for months now, guys. Hillbilly Hills, the ATW heavyweight champion. Let's see what he's gonna have to say. Let's see what Time Bomb grills the man. Takes him down to ground zero. Congratulate you. He's the new ACW champion. He defeated a two-time champion in the US to get the belt. How do you feel about that? one word out of the mouth of Hillbilly Hills and a very jealous, bitter human being has got to make his way to the ring. Yeah, but Alexis is with him. Look at him. Oh, Alexis. sit down. She's back. What a woman. Oh. I got to tell you, man, he gets excited when he sees Tommy Rocks. I'm excited when Alexis is here. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm going to move a little closer to tomorrow right now. Keep it in your pants, dog. She's a very hot lady, but she's a genius lady. She gets her way in and out of a wrestling ring and comes into the ring with Adrian Lynch who's catching the hillbilly and he's a prize or two. Adrian Lynch showing Mullet Solitude there wearing that rap t-shirt. Oh, it's, no, no, hey, he doesn't have a mullet. Don't say that around Cujo. Yeah, I don't want to rile Cujo up. He's already mad about the uh, horticulture. Beauty Mark. Honey, we love you, but don't talk. Shut up. Hillbilly Hills is the champion, honey. You, you were right there in Keel. You saw it yourself. What are they talking about? I'm on top. Well, the fans here at the watering hole not shy about their opinions. Voice of Grace on uh, the uh, mortal fort, the moral fortitude. I'm looking at her, she's got me flustered of Alexis. Too late for that, Adrian. Shoulders getting pinned to the mat.
have you? Come at you from Ground Zero. 
Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with my good friend Derek St. Holmes Esquire. And it looks to be a, a new addition here. Uh, is this the person who assisted you with uh, that whole Bla Brandon Blaze incident? That's right, that's right. Brandon Blaze decided he wanted to step up to the plate, but he didn't have what it took, so I had to go out and find somebody that could uh, watch my back out there in the ACW rings. Brad Hammers, this man was ignored by his older brother, shunned by his family. I took him under my wing, and now he and I are a unit here in ACW. Brandon Blaze, I'm going to deal with you later, but for right now, Brad Hammers is the man on top of the tag team division. As far as I'm concerned, he can hold the tag team titles by himself. Well, do you have anything to interject with that? A taciturn Brad Hammers as usual. All-Star Championship Wrestling returns to the Watering Hole on Belmont Saturday, March 3rd for a television taping. You'll see almost three hours of action, including full ray warfare for the tag team titles. Hillbilly Hills and Kamikaze yes. can both put their singles titles on the line. And history will be made in a two-ring 40-man battle royal. Tickets are now at sale at the exclusive company in Green Bay for ACW March 3rd at the Watering Hole. Attention wrestling fans, as you know, pro wrestling has never been hotter, and the opportunity to become part of this exciting industry has never been greater. If you have a dream and a desire, the ACW Bourgeois Pain can help you become one of us. ACW's experienced instructors offer you the training and the knowledge to help you begin an exciting career in professional wrestling. The ACW Dojo of Pain is Wisconsin's number one wrestling training facility, and it shows. If you are 18 or older and want to live your dream, call us today at 737-2610. That's 737-2610. Skateboarding is not a crime, but buying your gear at a place called Mart should be. Surf and Burn on Main is now a hardcore sponsor of ACW Wrestling, specializing in some of the most hardcore pastimes out there. With snowboards, skateboards, streetboards, music, video games, and DVDs, Surf and Burn has been corrupting young minds since 1988. Surf and Burn is the supermarket to the youth at 1277 Main Street, Green Bay. It's a grudge match going on here at the Watering Hole, All-Star Championship Wrestling on UPN 32. This kid, Brandon Blaze, looking to settle the score with his supposed mentor, Derek St. Holmes Esquire, Doug. You saw Derek St. Holmes and his tag team partner poke him out a couple of weeks ago here on ACW. And just a few weeks ago in Keele, Wisconsin, at ACW events. Brandon Blaze returned the favor on Derek St. Holmes Esquire, as we're about to see here, stealing that tome of knowledge from the educated and precious one, Derek St. Holmes Esquire. And now, who's walking alongside Derek St. Holmes? Baby brother has hit this ring. The supposed tag team champion, the man who turned his back on his own big brother. That's gratitude from you, from straight at what we would tend to call him straight edge anymore, Brad Hammer. As he accompanies Derek St. Holmes Esquire, a Hampton hero to the ring. And Get stuck with Red Rooster or whatever. I have no Let me repeat, and so Red Lightning. Who is that idiot? Why is he? Why does he take? Have to take with Cujo? This is preposterous to say the least. That uh, oh. I don't. We don't have electroshock panels here. I need I'm my sorry. pills. No nitroglycerin either. You guys need somebody with a pulse to be a partner. Either get me some nitro, or at least tell me of a brain, or maybe a, a, a something from Fazoli's. I mean, get Red Skelton instead of Red Rooster. Red yeah, Major, seriously. We're going at a one-on-one -on -one here in the middle of the ring. Carrot St. Holmes Esquire, Brandon Blaze. We'll see if Brandon Blaze, away from the uh, influence of Carrot St. Holmes Esquire, can uh, make a stand here at All-Star Championship Wrestling. He's got tons of potential. He's got tons of energy. But against a scientific maestro, to use a term like Carrot St. Holmes Esquire, and he's got some muscle in his corner to back him up now. Oh, he's got a bad man in his corner. We've all seen it, what Brad Hammers is able to do inside and outside the wrestling ring. Of course, Brandon Blaze knows it all too well, too. 
and I guess we can put two together and realize he was the mystery man who punked out Brandon Blaze not too long ago in the locker room. Well, I don't know, but I don't like Brandon Blaze. He's a little Look punk. out, look out, beautiful. Spinning Mexican arm drag there, climbing up those ropes, well done by Brandon Blaze. And Derek Jones Esquire, when confronted by a little speed and agility there, Brandon Blaze can't wait to get him back in the ring. Brandon Blaze uh, looking to make his own impact here. And the crowd getting in the case of Brad Hammers. What's their problem? What's their problem? Yeah, what's their damage? He's up there, Tiger. This is ACW. It's the watering hole. The fans can get drunk and cheer and boo whoever they want. Yeah, but they're stupid. No, thank you. I'm not even going to reply to that one. It's an argument I'll never win. Guys, it's uh, Derek St. Holmes, Esquire, and Brandon Blaze go out in the ring. I'm looking across the ring, and we have some guests from uh, Midwest Pro Wrestling in attendance. A fine wrestling organization out of the state of Minnesota. We see uh, Shifty there, Sheriff Johnny Emerald, Emerald uh, Helmut Von Strauss, a couple others taking in the ACW action tonight. Yeah, and they've been coming up and they came up to me and told me how cool I was. It's true, they did, they really did, they said that. That is a highly dubious claim to say the least, my friend. Look out for Brandon Blaze, wow! Look at that! Not quite a backflip, but uh, getting momentum there that uh, somersault on the top rope and catching Derek St. Holmes in the, uh, the head scissors. And of course, it was an illegal maneuver. He pulled his hair. I'm trusting you didn't really see that. You're just making that up to get attention there, Angelino. Derek St. Holmes, Esquire, uh, avoids that offensive maneuver by Brandon Nguyen. This is his pace. This is his time. He's got an opponent on the mat. Opponent hurt, and he's gonna work on that ground game. I guarantee it. Hey, Kaufman, look at the back of St. Holmes' tights. That's why he is, because he thinks and stuff. I got that figured out, Angelo. Yeah, all by myself. Up some clash, clash, clash tonight, Angelo. Thank you. Look out. Fisherman Suplex doesn't hold on to him. Derek Hill, that's where that sadistic side coming out. He wants to punish Brandon Blaze. Stretch the punk, Derek. That was the end result last time. These two men were in the watering hole together. Derek St. Holmes taking out Brandon Blaze and applying that STF maneuver right in the middle of the ring, humiliating this young kid. And then Brad Hammer punking him out. You know, he's game. Now look at this. The St. Holmes stomp. I love it. I've seen that before. What about you, Matt? A uh, long time ago. I'd have to go way back in the tape archive to uh, identify the wrestler who did that one, but Derek St. Holmes, one wrestler who's not afraid to kick it old school, Doug. That's something you don't see for Stabato very often. Anybody lifted him up to get him on the top rope. No, I, uh, I don't like being off my feet. Yeah, give me a wide load sign at that. Derek St. Holmes setting him up here. That big super plan. Did he nail it? Devastating maneuver by St. Holmes. This one's going to be over quick. Out of two. Oh, no. Oh, wait hey, a minute. Hold on. What's going on? Look behind TJ. You can see behind his head. You see him have a visitor at ringside. I'm not talking about Brad Hammer's baby brother's at ringside as well. But he, he's being sneaky. He's not letting Jared St. Holmes or Brad Hammer take a look at him. Our cameras can pick him up, though. Cameras got him. Brandon Blaze looks out. Turns him around. Cuts that flip out of nowhere. Count of two. Whoa, that was close. Brandon Blaze, that high-impact pin maneuver coming out of nowhere, a little springboard action. There you see Brad Hammers. And Eric's starting to work his way Wait to the Wait a minute, Brad Hammers has got the ref. Eric Hammers. Oh! oh! That's the book! That's the book! Derek Hill, that's the book! No way! Book. Natural bridge and No three. way! I can't! No, 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 no! A natural bridge by Brandon Blaze and a little assistance from Eric, straight edge Eric Hammers gets that one out of nowhere. Eric Hammers helping out Brandon Blaze uses the tome of knowledge on Derek St. Holmes. The infamous Straight Edge has the microphone. Derek St. Holmes Esquire finally takes his own volume of literature, guys. And Straight Edge Eric Hammers just the man to let him do it. And now I think uh, Straight Edge has got that little family business to take care of. I get the feeling it didn't take much. 
That's supposed to mean. I've lived in Wisconsin a long time, but. Yeah, yeah, hold it back. Well, you're on my list, though, Derek, and I talked to you and Adam on the phone earlier. She also told me to tell you I am not with you, but I am going to go through Brad. And if I see Brad, I can get you to a whole belt, and I get to pick you better. We heard about this last week, guys. So, Hammer versus Hammer, belt versus belt. Saturday night, we're here on UPS 32. We'll see you next week with more action.